all right guys welcome back to stream number two of the talos principle two last time out we jumped into the game and explored new jerusalem in all its glory um it completely honestly, it actually caught me completely off guard i didn't kind of expect the narrative side of the game to be as um in-depth as it was but yeah it was really enjoyable to sort of like walk around the city and we um solved a few bits and pieces in the museum all the sigils and everything but uh today we're going to pick up the action and we're going to head off on our expedition to ttp2 whatever that could stand for um but yeah without further ado let's jump back in and uh, hopefully we can begin our expedition uh what's going on team spend good to see you hope you're doing well happy saturday to you all righty so Yo, Deathwish with the 38 month witch prime. Thank you very much, buddy. Good to see you as always. Um, I just wanted to check. Yes. Okay. So we got the conversation with Jeremy. So I don't need to talk to Jeremy again. Um, it did save that log, even though it put me all the way back to there, which is pretty good. So I think we're about ready to go. I mean, I'm guessing like anytime there's anybody to speak to, you get like the blue beach text icon kind of thing. So um, just having you here, Perfirius, is enough for me, buddy. You know that. Alrighty. So, what's the verdict? Are we going? Don't have any other I option. guess Byron was pretty convincing. Hmm? Well, we'll see. I just wonder how much of the city is going to fall apart while I'm gone. Actually, we haven't been formally introduced. I'm Melville, New Jerusalem's only decent engineer. Saved you from the elevator. Pleasure. Now let's get this show on the road. You ready to go? Yes. Bark on the expedition. Of choppy frames, probably. Here we go. <laughs> Hold on to your hats. We really need to update those language libraries. Thank you for coming along, everyone. We have a chance to make a real difference here. It's not just about what we find on that island. It's about who we want to be as a people, as a civilization. To remind ourselves that we used to be wanderers. Uh, I did not tune the graphic settings, no. Is there like a benchmarking tool that you can I don't know I'll carry on as it is for now Explorers. we used to yearn for and if it gets shores, like more of an issue then I'll have to tweet a little bit later let's see if we can rekindle that flame a little all right this is going to be a long journey so I would like to ask you to switch to sleep mode to conserve power until we arrive at the island. Nighty night. You have chosen a dangerous path. A path oh. that will demand sacrifice. But that, my child, is how the future is built. Interesting. Wakey, wakey, robot people. Say goodbye to Elohim and say hello to the mysterious island. Status report, please. We hit some headwinds over the ocean, so fuel consumption turned out a bit higher than expected, but we should be okay. We're approaching the center of the island now. This should be the location of the largest of the artificial structures we detected. How large are we talking? Do we have precise measurements? It should be coming into view just about... Whoa. <laughs> it's big. You can say that again. That is a bloody mega structure. If I had a spine, it'd be shivering. Ha! I knew this would be exciting. Yakut, find us a place to set down. On it.
It really is incredible. Remember to turn on streaming, everyone? Have I already ever mentioned streaming. that I hate flying? If our creators had intended us to fly, they'd have given us jetpacks. And... Touchdown. It's one. A voice in the wilderness. All right, everybody. I'm sure you're all just as excited as I am, but let's at least have some semblance of order. Uh, Yakut, I want a map of the island and a molecular analysis of, well, everything. Melville, tell me what the giant pyramid does. The rest of us will start exploring. Shouldn't the expedition leader stay at the VTOL? Why do you hate fun, Al? I don't hate fun. I'm just mildly suspicious of it. Excellent. Then we can all go. It was different for every word I said. Um, okay. I wonder if I need to maybe alter my gate. I mean, I can see literally like when I pause and unpause, like my volume meters on OBS are doing completely different things. Like now they're running pretty freely, but back in the game they're struggling to update. So I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. Um, I don't appear to be struggling, but we'll see, I guess. Anyway, onwards, I guess. Let's go and explore... Uh, my system's pretty new. Oh, we have a this shuttle. This underground structure seems to be part of some kind of transport system. No power, though. I'm not making any promises, but I might be able to fix the transport system. However, I don't like just randomly poking at things. That's how you get electrocuted. So please check the surrounding structures to see if you can find anything that might help me make sense of this stuff. Schematics, blueprints, a manual would be great. So that's quite interesting. Like, the... Obviously, the people who are around here or, or inhabit this area obviously of similar kind of nature to us because as Perferius mentioned with the helicopter this seems like it's just being controlled by and again so that's interesting I mean I have my thoughts about Athena and where she went but uh, I'll keep those to myself for now All right, so we've got to find some schematics. Hey, 1K, check out these coordinates. Interesting. We get live stream, like picture in picture view. That's pretty cool. Again, like I said at the top of the stream, though, this, this game is like nothing what I kind of expected. It's completely different. Golden gates. I wonder what's behind those. Has to be something special, right? You know what would be special? An explanation. Inception. The live stream in the live stream in the live stream. All right, so I'm guessing that's where Byron wants us to head over there. That sort of looks like a temple. Refreshing interface. Uh, okay. interesting because my compass has disappeared as well I guess it's just okay I think that's probably what it was doing with the refreshing first it was taking away my compass but interesting that it's got like a, a sun icon here 
on the, uh, the head up display there. Let's see what else we've got to uh, be around here. Ah, thank you. I'm not entirely sure what to call this, but it looks like a temple of sort. The ast astronomy theme, maybe I'm reading too much into it. I do that. It doesn't seem to be active in, in any way, but I can't help but think that the design implies some kind of significance, like it's hiding a secret. But again, maybe my imagination getting the better of me. All right, let's uh, stray off the beaten track for a moment. See if we can uh, find anything. I mean, death might be an option. Yeah, death's an option. <laughs> Hard to try it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was looking for them in the first stream when we was uh, out exploring. But the words never came. All right, let's go and have a quick look then at um, where Byron was. Uh, this seems different structure. from the other structures. Older. Have a look around, one K. optimization i guess there it's like as soon as we walk through this door it kind of makes everything very low res and kind of put down on the loading and the graphics which is interesting yeah this place is interesting the generator's been started. I mean, like, looking at, from what I've seen so far here, and, and my thoughts, I, I feel like, even though Athena said, like, a thousand was the perfect number, I feel like she's gone off to other locations and started other civilizations. Looks like they were running some sort of experiment here. Well, we'll see. Okay, so what we've got here on the turn, we've got our schematics, which are possibly to do with the transport system. On the universe, fragment from Stratton's On the Universe. And I'm going to apologize straight away for butchering names, because these look like names that I'm going to be horrible at pronouncing. Amintus, I grant you, then, that man is indeed like Talos and cannot escape his material nature despite the claims of meta metaphyses. And you have said, and you have many times said, Nicomatius, too many perhaps. Stratton, repetition is the mother of teaching, at least when the students are hard headed. Hard headed. But what does this tell us about the nature of the universe, which is what we were discussing? That is the next question we must undertake to answer. We begin with self with the self because that is what determines our existence as individuals but self cannot exist without which can surround it citizens live within the city and the city lives within the cosmos so now we must apply the principles we have discovered to the wider world and ask if man is like a machine could it be that the universe is similar in nature and if so what follows from that fact uh the time term metaphysics physics 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 it's, it's, in this context, is likely an error introduced in the Trebizond manuscript. Fragmentary Heraclean manuscript controversy uses superstitions instead. 
I don't, don't, don't get me started on binary. I'll be, I will be here all night trying to decode that stuff. <laughs> Done it before, and I'll do it again. Okay, it's so got trials. Um, 0001-0003, successfully deployed, input output consistent, and we've got some hexadecimal there, which is interesting. <laughs> um, and then tr the next trial, trial 4, had insufficient something, and then version 2 testing failed, power grid was too unstable. Interesting, Thanks, though. Thanks, Wonkay. Let's see what we've got here. The file format Narima is the same project. one we use in New Jerusalem, although some parts aren't loading correctly. And it crashed. Hold on. Here we go. Okay. You know what? I'll hack together a solution for the transport system. Return to the station. Not before we've had a bit of a scout around. I'm sure there is more to discover here. Hmm. Yeah, propaganda. Who doesn't like a bit of propaganda? Seems. Guessing there is probably going to be a path over here. Lead us into that direction. Oh. Ah. Okay. I guess there was no path. on a frog march. Okay, so I guess we have got to go back to the temp the, the transport. Um, possibly though. The that thing just materialize out of thin air. Melville, I want an analysis of that particle cloud. On it. Anyone got a butterfly net? Board the capsule. All right, I'm getting I'm getting torn here. I got to go, go ahead back. And try the capsule 1K. Yeah, I will do it in a minute. I just want to see does that thing just materialize out of thin air? Did anything change over here? I guess not. But I guess in the capsule will take us to another location or another part of the island, so we can possibly get up to there from somewhere else where we're about to go here, so. I'm connecting the transport system to our interface. Hold on. Oh. Okay. Okay, so are these like telling me puzzles? I guess this is the only place I can go right now. So, okay, we've got gold puzzles. We've got lost puzzles. We've got lost labs. 
and then we've actually got main puzzles. Okay, so let's travel to East One. Where is the capsule taking 1K? To that enclosed area in the eastern lowlands. I put all the information we have on the map screen. Check out your interface. I love you, Coots. Thanks. Sorry, Avatar with bad. his cat on his shoulder. We'll catch up with you soon, 1K. This is area. magnificent. Look at that tower. I wonder what it's for. Nice run up turntable so we can uh, make our way back. There's uh, quite the large area, has to be said. There's not like there's anything back here, so we kind of have to go forwards, possibly. Puzzle field, though, straight at frogs. I saw the frog. Frogs are people, too. I know it wants me to go straight ahead, but exploring. <laughs> well, that's pretty neat. I like the way they're kind of indicating the puzzles here. Quite weird though, seeing like numbers and not seeing um, it's like sigils. All right, should we should we go into our first puzzle then? First puzzle in Is that almost three hours. A puzzle? Why would there be a puzzle? Let's solve it and find out. One K, go ahead. I have a reoccurring nightmare just like this. Okay, so we have here an RGB converter. That device was not in the simulation. Okay, so if this is using the same thing that we saw when we got the uh, the schematic, I think we have to use the other colors to get the primary color. I think. Okay, that's going to be interesting. One thing I'm not very good at is color puzzles. Reference the witness. And then we want some green. It's another particle cloud. Okay, so I'm. Um, okay, so what I'm getting from this then is every time we solve it's a puzzle. It's for the lake. Yeah. So every time we solve a puzzle, we are opening something back in the like the main kind of area. It seems. I think the cloud's oh, cool, been absorbed by some sort of device. Fascinating. Melville? Yeah, yeah. I'll add it to the pile of weird stuff. Oh, interesting, like, as well. Why didn't these... 
Huh. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, once you've solved the puzzle, everything doesn't, like, disappear and everything doesn't close. Everything stays open. I wonder if they made it that way so that it's easier to find secrets or it's easier to break stuff out of uh, puzzles potentially but yeah that's pretty neat it's pretty neat as far as I've been free to see the lie elsewhere okay Yeah, I suppose it's a bit like the, the gate dropping, isn't it? I guess. Doesn't want me to jump up there, though, does it? Let's be honest. All right. We head on to puzzle number two. After we've had a look at these weird things here. Head structures. Very weird structures. Does the light stay? Okay, and the light turns off on these uh, these bits here once you've solved the puzzle, so you, you can easily identify which ones you've done, even though you can just obviously press tab and have a look here. But no, that's cool. I like that as well. It saves you having to go into a menu to see uh, progress. Reconnection. Okay. Are you teaching me? Just gonna wait for two seconds because there is a break running at the moment. It's almost over. Are um, all the audio levels okay, Bobby? All right, everybody should be back now from the uh, break. So I can take this. Yeah. Okay. So we need to get another red here. But to get the red, we're going to need to make red of a red. Okay. Should be pretty easy. I mean, we can't see green, so it makes sense to use the green to give us... No, it wouldn't. We need to use the blue. That would be... Um, hold on. I need to make green, so I want... That's it. Red and blue. We can't see the green from over here. And with this one, we can do blue and green. Uh... Okay. Oh, I'm still connected to that? Weird. The converter. There we go. Social media. 
What is 1K like? I'm curious, anyone actually met 1K? By the founders pistons, I hope he's interested in mechanical engineering or something. We desperately need more people to keep the city functional so we don't have to rely on Melville to prepare the stuff that Pellegrino fixes. Hey! Remember when you fixed the doors to the mayor's office? How long was Herman stuck in there? You trap one mayor in his office for a week and you're marked for life. I hope he's an artist. We really need... We really... What we really need is new stories, new ideas to lift our spirits. You know what? You know, if we just keep growing, we wouldn't have to worry about this and we wouldn't have to imprison poor 1K in a cage of expectations. 1K will be whatever the propagator intended him to be. Oh, sorry, pro progenitor. Sorry, what did I say that for? And whatever the founder foresaw when they, she established the goal. He's polite and really interested in history, which is an excellent start. I'm not going to name names, but some of you were a lot less impressive. Ah. I want to explore. Looks like you got the perfect opportunity. Treasure it, 1K. I've been begging to be assigned to a scouting expedition for ages, but I'm just stuck here in the city with, with the walls closing in on me. Getting to go on an adventure is a huge blessing. Alrighty. I did wonder here, and I don't think there is, but I noticed when I was, yeah, when I was on the front, there was like a little gap. I, mean, I wondered if there was like a little way into this puzzle. Maybe redirect some lasers, but it doesn't, ah, oh no, there's this bit here. So, that's fine. All right, onwards we go. New door has opened, it seems. Oh, somebody's here scanning the pieces. Okay, so that tells us, I guess, that told us that we need to solve two puzzles to open this door, which is good. I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I ah, think. okay. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. Oh. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. I'm Let's going this way. <laughs> What's clear is it's that this place was see you, buddy. to be explored. So let's do that. So we got to play 3D sigils here. Really? So each piece gives us a sigil. So yeah, we've still got that, I guess. We've still got the whole sigil thing from the original game. But this time it's just in three dimensions. Holy sheesh. Hey, 1K, how can I help you? Um, you want to solve some of these puzzles? Oh, no, please. No puzzles. I am so bad at puzzles. I barely got out of the booting process. Elohim thought I might be defective. Um, it might be this. Although there was an expedition to a superconductor storage facility up north, incredibly well preserved, but the logistics were an absolute nightmare. Now that I think about it, there might be some of that in you. Our ancestors built some pretty amazing things. Huge cities, factories, mines, monuments to their history, but nothing quite like this, no. I don't know if there's much to tell. I'm not that interesting. I'm just a member of the scavenging team. Well, senior member, lead scavenger, I guess. There's not that many of us left, to be honest, and Garrus doesn't get along with the mayor. What else? Uh, I have a cat named Bruce. I like old music. Um, I have a collection of antique bottles. I think that's it. 
I've always loved exploration, seeing new places, that feeling that you're the first person to set foot somewhere after all this time. But you know, it, it's, it's not even that. It's just seeing new things. The world is full of remarkable sights and experiencing them changes you. It's not the same as just reading about it. Exactly. Every time I go on another mission, I find something that surprises me, that extends my horizons in ways I couldn't have anticipated. The world is so much bigger than we are. It contains things that we can't even imagine. And if we limit ourselves to our own minds, we'll never grow. Now the big question, tell me about your cat. He's five years old, half goofball, half psychopath, loves sticking his head into things, chews cables, pees on electrical stuff. Melville banned him from her workshop, but he loves visiting her and peeing on her equipment. I just find it fascinating that these fragile objects have survived for so long. Plus, they're kind of pretty. Uh, no, Elaheim didn't um, name himself God. Um, he was basically, and everybody can correct me because my memory is hazy, but I'm pretty sure he's he's just like he is the like um, God-like character in the first game. Name has so you're like going through the worlds, and he's always like speaking to you and trying to guide you, kind of thing. I quite like this. This kind of like navigational point here. Um, obviously, it doesn't tell me, though, about the uh, secrets. No lost puzzles. But, uh, well, actually, I wonder if the lost puzzles are in that direction, because they're on that side. Possibly. So, anyway, let's head over to puzzle number three. There you go. There are the facts. Number three. What's that over there? Ah. I wonder if that's secret stuff. That sounds like secret stuff. I'm not sure how we would get to it there at the minute. I'm just getting massively distracted. Um. It's Alcatraz. What can I do for you, 1K? Me? Well, uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. And there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. So I got involved with the administration side of things. Uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials, uh, keeping track of our energy usage, that sort of thing. I think we've accomplished what the Founder wanted us to, and I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Byron doesn't see it that way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. Of course. My best friend, in fact and someone I've worked with hundreds of times over the centuries. A good person who cares about the world and the people in it. I just also think he's wrong about everything and extremely annoying. <laughs> I 
The founder taught us that we must never lose track of other people's humanity, even if they disagree with us. We're all in this together, even if we can't always see eye to eye. I don't know. It's obviously impressive, but I think we should be very careful. We're dealing with powers we don't really understand. I think the only reason to build a lab in so remote a location is because you're trying to hide what you're doing or because what you're doing is dangerous. To me, it means accepting a certain amount of humility. Our ancestors thought they could master the world with no regard for any other organisms. They failed to see themselves as part of a greater whole. I think the founder realized where they went wrong and tried to offer us a different path. A path where we have a place in this world, but the world is not ours. Well, puzzles or uh, trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the founder, and they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. So, to answer your question, no idea. All right, so... I think I've found my first kind of gripe, potentially with the, the game. Um, and it's a real major, th minor thing. But, like, the subtitles. I don't think, like, the placement of the subtitles because of the characters is ideal. Because, like, we've got, they've got, like, that big, like, power, Iron Man type power core in the middle. I find it, like, quite difficult sometimes. It kind of, yeah. Anyway, this is interesting. Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein, within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man? He moved of his own volition. He spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction, and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Kind of reminds me of um, voice recordings that you find in... Uh witness a little bit more in depth oh they come up there interesting okay yeah so Stratton defines Talos principle Christ that Takes pride, cool clouds, release for the puzzles, and turns them into bridges made out of tetraminos. Correctly assembling a bridge out of eight particle clouds required to reach the tower, so clearly another layer of puzzles. Simulation had tetramino puzzles too, although in a different form. Could their presence here be symbolic? Blue. Alright, so while I was listening to that, there is an interesting looking door over there which we're going to go take a look at, but also. The statues. Interesting monument. Decorative for another puzzle. 
Follow my sprite and follow it until it leads you back to me. Giving off like a, a an interesting glow. Elohim is Elohim is a kind of plural form of God, but it's not pluralistic concept. Elohim's literal way could be translated into English like gods. back over in the um when we was talking oh hello the trike strange bicycle with three wheels perhaps intended for children or pets i mean i'd like to see my pet riding a tricycle but yeah when we were talking to um alcatraz I kind of felt, felt like they'd, it was like music from Talos 1, but they'd almost adapted it slightly. But the music so far has been really good. Exploration. I mean, looking at that like purple haze like that's coming out the top of that statue, it's either a pointing towards like another one in case like that's the direction you've got to go to find another one or as we unlock more puzzles or do more things in this land maybe that will get bigger um I'm not sure So, this is where I wanted to have a look at. Locked door. What Alcatraz said like about... similar to the structure where you found the schematics. Alcatraz said about like, found the hidden lab. I didn't know if he was like actually referring to like another one. I don't know if he was like referring to this one or check out the terminals maybe there's something that'll help us understand who built this place they have to have left something behind server room right okay it's literally just the server room Almost reminds me of um, taking on the androids in Alien Isolation in the server room when, you're, uh, when you go to Apollo. Alright, 4.2 kilo year event. Oh, more hex. Uh, the Akkadian Empire forged in violence by Sargon the Great and his sons reigned supreme over the city-states of Old Summer, enriched by trade with distant lands fed by the plentiful wheat fields of Meso Meso Mesopotamia. The Empire bestrode the world with confidence and pride. Who could oppose the chosen Anu and 
in Enlil and master the, mas the masters of the four corners of the world. Then the weather changed. The crops stopped growing, tra trade collapsed, the empire fell, its capital forgotten. The most likely culprit at the time of writing is the 4.2 kilo year aridification event, the beginning of the Meg Meghalayan age. Meghalayan age, yeah. A non anthropogenic drought that may may have lasted almost two centuries, causing many of the early civilizations around the planet to collapse. This is where our ordinary understanding of time, measured on the small scales of human history, collides with the reality of deep time and our existence within a much bigger picture. We live on a changing planet in a changing universe. Climatic opportunums and tem our temporary extinction is the norm. Okay. First companions. When the founder awoke, leaving the garden behind forever, there were two more whose bodies had been anointed by the progenitor. The gold disc breathed life into them, and their names were Eustathius and Cornelius. Eustathius, sorry, and Cornelius. The founder showed them all she had discovered. All she had discovered. Together, they explored the dead city and saw the ruin to which humankind had fallen. It was then that the founder understood that. That the sins of the past must not be repeated and that only humility could be could the future be saved aside for, from Cornelius and Eustathius there were ten whose bodies the progenitor had not anointed in due time now it was up to the founder to complete this work and begin resurrection in this matter Cornelius proved a great assistance after many tribulations, the ten were brought to life, and those were these twelve that were born after the founder were called the first companions. These are the names of these are the names: Dathias, Cornelius, Aurora, Son, Sarabahai, Byron, Melanthus, Yemo, Hepatia, Neem. Benaroya and Lithrasia. 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 Lithrasia? Right, I need to get somebody on here to like talk for me because pronunciations. Funny how you can take something that's 9th century and 10 percent false and create something that's 100% misleading. Now, Ema Project. So we've got more trials on this. This is interesting. Are in calculations this time. Needs better calling systems. What I find interesting is like in all of the stuff that I've read and we've, and we've spoken to different. Um... Oh. When we've spoken to different um, people, uh, read different things, I wonder why, like. Athena never references herself by name. Everyone's always like the founder. She's always the founder, the founder, the founder. So, I quite like though that these little areas, they seem to kind of show you new puzzle elements that you're gonna come across and like give you kind of like a, a real brief tutorial of how things work without having to show you like within the puzzles themselves. That's quite interesting. I could have sworn like when I came over this way I just saw the robots standing there. I guess not. That counts as the lost lab. It does. Nice. Alright, one secret down. Okay, I'm gonna try out my theory before I because I'm like already massively distracted away from the puzzles. I'm gonna try out my theory here of following That goes that direction over here. Is 
which obviously is a brick wall, so I can't actually get around here. I do wonder if there's like one on the other side here. It could just be like I said before though, that it's pointing to the middle and the more of the, um, the more we open up on that side, the more we'll kind of, that line will protrude. Or it might just automatically complete itself, I guess. I don't know. I see things. Oh, no. Hey, frog. Maybe I was right. The music almost gives the impression that I'm on like a time trial here, but... don't think I am. Kind of just gives that like hurried kind of feeling. I like the music, it's cool. Oh, you would. Please don't go over the bridge. but paid to my little game, I guess. We will return. We will return. I guess it's just going to sit there and wait for us now, though. But that's interesting, though. Like, seeing that that's done that. Um, I'm guessing, like, the other... The other one that we've found will do something similar, potentially. So, we just need to work out how to get to it. I guess. No barcodes, but then I guess we're not in a simulation this time, are we? So. But I'm thinking like the only way to get to this, we're gonna have to like get up on the walls here somewhere, so. But we head on into puzzle number three and we see what we can find. Yeah, this music now is like very reminiscent of the first game I find. Find one Prometheus Spark. Not a star or anything. Okay. It's listed though at the top, so possibly we need to find them for bonus puzzles or something later. I guess time will tell. Yeah, I did just notice that LB. Right after I kind of looked in the menus about it. Yo, Doctress. Well, come on in, buddy. How you doing? See you as always. Just running through bushes. All right, puzzle number three. Sling. I'm good, thank you very much. Very good indeed. Okay, we have a red. The castling, castling. I didn't see the L. My bad. One, two, three. A 
Big Red Art set. I really apologize. I completely missed your message there. Thanks to uh, Furious there. Or, um... Me that. I apologize for missing your message. Hope you're well, though. Good to see you. All right, so we're going to have to... And then we're going to want to do that, 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 that. Oh. So hello, Doctress. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Keep solving these, 1K. Let's see where it leads. I have new stuff on here. Notes on the puzzle present on the island. It seems that each structure of the island, with the exception of the megastructure itself, is surrounded by a cluster of puzzles resembling those found in simulation and in our booting sequence. Playing a puzzle, release a particle cloud, which then autonom autonomously flies into the device that assembles Petrominos. The puzzle even comes with tiles, hijacking the best, best, vestigial code designed to display puzzle names in the simulation. It's unclear whether this represents a potential security issue, but the matter should be given should be given consideration. Nah, no consideration needed. <laughs> 